Hey, what's up everyone? John at the Geek here and today I'm going to be introducing you to this budget-friendly laptop that I just picked up from Best Buy. Laptop? YouTube. YouTube? Laptop. No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, I picked this up over the weekend from Best Buy for uh, 330 bucks. It was on sale. The normal price on it is 350 bucks, and uh, that's still a good price for this budget laptop. So this is the Asus uh, X401A RBL4 laptop uh, series. So the X401 series laptops are the budget-friendly laptop, and as you can see here, this is the puke green metallic green look in color. Um, I went with something a little bit different because uh, many laptops I've had in the past were either black, dark gray, gray, and uh, I'm just kind of tired of those same looking laptops and uh, the other option was either black or pink and uh, so I just went with this nice metallic looking green here. And so even though it looks metallic, it's actually plastic all the way around through and through. Um, I mean, that's kind of what you would expect for a budget uh, conscious uh, laptop here. So I don't really do unboxings and everything that you see here is pretty much what you get. Um, but if you have to really see the box, this is what it looks like, right? So that's the uh, eco-friendly recycled bits and pieces of recycled junk and whatchamacallits. Um, that's pretty much the box and in the box you get stuff like warranty information, quick start guides, all that jazz. There's no recovery disk because inside of the hard drive here is a recovery partition that you would use to recover anything that you've messed up. So no recovery disk with the laptop here. And so I'm just going to go ahead and plug in this battery here talk a little bit about uh, the hardware and what makes this so budget friendly. Alright, so the laptop here is a 14 inch laptop. It's uh, 4.1 pounds, very light, thin and light. That's kind of the reason why I got this laptop is because it's such a thin form factor, very much like an Ultrabook, but without the Ultrabook prices, right? And uh, it has a Intel B970 CPU. Now the CPU is uh, not blazing fast. It comes in at uh, 2.3 gigahertz and it's a dual core processor. It's a Sandy Bridge processor so it does come with the Intel HD graphics which is pretty good. Better than uh, you know crappy graphics that most laptops uh, usually come with. And so um, it's configured with 4 gigs of RAM, 320 gig hard drive but it's a slow hard drive. It's a 5400 RPM hard drive. Oh, and uh, back to the CPU, it's no frills, there's no virtual cores, there's no hyper-threading. Uh, it's just straight up 2 megabytes of L3 cache, 2.3 gigahertz. Not a whole lot to it, but that's fine by me. The 6-cell uh, lithium-ion battery should give this laptop about 5 to 6 hours of battery life, which is fine by me. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, that's what makes this such a budget conscious laptop. Oh, and also there's no optical drive, right? So I'll go ahead and start in with uh, what ports you get here. And so this is the ventilation port here where uh, the heat sink fins, as you can see there. There's also another ventilation port here. And uh, on the side here we have a USB port, USB 2.0 uh, power port and uh, the Kensington lock right on the back here nothing and on the other side here is the VGA port SD card slot Ethernet port with a little lip latch looking thing here it's kind of standard affair for these thin small form factor uh, laptops and then the HDMI port which also carries sound and uh, there is the uh, USB 3.0 port and a audio headphone in and a microphone uh, jack there. And uh, there's not a whole lot of USB ports, but I do like the fact that there is a um, USB 3.0 port, even though the hard drive probably can't even saturate the USB 3 speeds. On the front here, indicator lights right on the very edge there. And let's open up 
the keyboard here is an island style keyboard. It's a pretty nice keyboard, looks, looks pretty good. And uh, whole top one piece here is green, uh, plastic, same plastic green. And the uh, trackpad here is a nice wide trackpad, which is what I really like. And it's a one single button kind of trackpad, something kind of similar to what you would see on, uh, on a MacBook, um, about the same size. And, uh, but it's still also plastic, so it's a one-click affair deal here, which is pretty nice. Glossy screen, not a fan of the glossy screen, but um, you know that's what you're gonna get. Native resolution, I believe, is 1366 by 768. We've got a cheap little webcam here, 0.3 megapixel webcam, and uh, comes this whole thing comes with a one-year warranty, which is uh, pretty nice. I mean, that's kind of standard on most electronics. And, uh, but I do want to show you the really thin laptop screen here. It's a very thin LED screen. And uh, it does produce some pretty vibrant colors. Right? It's very thin. And uh, yeah, that's partly the reason why I opted to get this. I don't really use optical drives anymore. And uh, this is a very thin and light form factor. Easy to carry. 14. Um, 14 inch screen here and so if we look at the back the bottom side yes I do have a tape taping up my sensitive information here of this laptop um, if we look at the back here you'll notice that there are no uh, panels for me to upgrade the RAM or anything like that or the hard drive there's no panels for me to unscrew and open up I kinda like that um, so basically I'm assuming that I have to unscrew all these screws here. Unscrew all the screws and that will allow me to take off the top part here. So if I take this off, I'm pretty sure the, uh, I'll be able to upgrade and access the uh, RAM and the hard drive, which I will actually be doing to this particular laptop. Um, I'll be upgrading the 4 gigs to 8 gigs of RAM. This I could pick this up online for like 40 bucks. It was really cheap, it was on sale. So I picked that up and I'll also be upgrading the hard drive to the 750 gig hard drive hybrid Momentus XT hybrid drive here um, that I picked up for like 120 bucks off of Amazon. Links to everything will be in the description as always. Anyways, for the normal user, for the average user, you don't necessarily have to upgrade this. I mean, for college students, what you see here is perfectly fine for you to get you through college. Um, I'm just upgrading it because, well, I require a little bit more speed, power, storage, all that jazz. Um, since this will be my actual personal laptop.